Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 44 of my carnivore diet. Um, so what's happened today? Let's see the numbers first. So dropped a little bit of water weight, but basically unchanged. So 95.2. <clears throat> Had a good night's sleep last night for the first time, but I went to bed earlier. So I think this part of the sleeping problem, part of it, is up to me because I've been going to bed too late. Another part of it is because I haven't been exercising very much. I think because I went to the gym yesterday, I was actually tired, which helped me sleep. And, um, yeah, so that was nice to wake up having had a little bit better sleep. Again, got to sleep in a little bit later than normal just because I didn't have to do the school run this morning. So all this week, I should be able to sleep an extra half an hour, 45 minutes, which makes a big difference. Um, diet's been pretty good today. I did, I was out at lunchtime, couldn't really find anything to eat. The best thing I could find was meatballs at Subway, which <clears throat> is not ideal, but it was the best I could do in the circumstances. What was really interesting about it though, a couple of things. Number one, um, my taste buds. And I think I've commented on this before, but the I'm because I'm eating on mostly meat and almost exclusively meat, but a bit of milk and cheese. Um, and the only thing I really have is some spicing on the meat. It's it's the meat itself is quite a bland diet, along with the eggs and everything else. It's quite bland. And what that's done is is it's reinvigorated my taste buds. So now when I eat stuff. If I even have a bite, like my wife might say, we're cooking dinner and she'll say, oh, can you try that? I'll have one bite of something. I'll, I'll have a couple of grains of rice or I'll have a teeny bit of something just to get a taste in my mouth to see what it tastes like. That's fine. And <clears throat> what I find is, is that I just taste stuff in a totally different way now. And the the majority of things that I taste, no matter what I eat, is sweet. How much food? Freaking sugar is in everything. If you go, like the meatballs themselves were okay. I could tell that they had a lot of filler in them. Um, I haven't felt funny and I haven't felt bad after it. They did have, you know, more carbs, obviously, than I would like to have. So my, my carb intake today has been about double what it normally is. And I mean, again, it is what it is, but... I can feel, I can feel the filler, like the, the bread or whatever it is that they use in that. I can, I can feel it in the mouthfeel. And, um, but the spicing was really nice in the meatball itself. So it was, it, I could taste something that I hadn't really tasted before, which was pretty cool. Um, like I said, the sauce though, oh my God, it was so sweet. And that seems to be the, the thing that I taste in everything that I just never noticed before. And I think it's just getting off of the constantly eating sugar all the time. And once you don't eat it for a while, then you're able to taste it again. So it was, it was kind of sad, but I was, I was sitting and my wife and I were having lunch and she's having, you know, normal subway, whatever. And I've like got a meatball and I'm scraping the tomato sauce off of it. So I would eat the cheese and I was like trying to scrape off as much sauce as I had. So I probably didn't even, in eight meatballs, I probably didn't even get a half of a teaspoon of, of the, you know, of the sauce, but it was enough I could taste it. Anyway, that was quite interesting. The other thing um, from today is I've been reading a lot more about oxalates and the oxalate dumping and that sort of stuff. And I know some people have mentioned in the comments some other symptoms um, like frothy urine and all sorts of, you know, odd stuff that I've experienced as well. You know, the, the, the carb mares, all the stuff I talked about last night. And I've done a little bit more research into it and I find it super interesting. It's really, really interesting, some of the science behind it. Um, I'm not sure about some of the science and I know I know a lot of the stuff on 
the particularly the carnivore diet hasn't been put through rigorous scientific research so a lot of it is anecdotal and i'm totally happy with that because i just have to go through my lived experience as well and if that's if i experience the same sorts of things then the more i do that the more i understand that that maybe that's correct or at least it's correct for me and so yes yeah, so it's been really interesting to sort of dig into the fact that you know, I'm having a lot of the symptoms that they talk about from oxalate dumping and all that sort of stuff, which has been really in, quite enlightening. Um, one of the things I didn't realize, though, and it sort of makes sense, is is that at one point I was drinking loads and loads of like peppermint tea and stuff, and I was really off of normal tea most of the day. Whereas more recently, I've kind of slipped back into drinking normal tea but just without sugar and tea is quite high in oxalates. And what I hadn't really realized is, is that when I wasn't drinking normal tea, that's when my legs were itching and everything else. So that's when I think my body was doing the oxalate dumping, but then I went back to drinking tea and it sort of cut those symptoms down. So I've looked into it a little bit and coffee is very low in oxalates, nearly zero. So I'm going to, cut back until I can go to water only, which I'm I'm just not ready to go to drinking only water. I'm sorry. I'm not. Um but I particularly instant coffee is actually better than than real coffee. And that's fine because that's what I drink most of the time anyway. Um so yeah so I'm gonna try and stick to coffee. I'm gonna get off as much tea as I can. I'll drink peppermint tea if if I want to have something during the day. Which will also be good because it'll cut back on the milk a little bit again and everything else. So that's been quite interesting. So we'll track those symptoms and kind of see how that goes. But potentially it could have an effect on everything from sleep to, you know, I don't know. Yeah, sort of skin issues and all sorts of things. So that's going to be quite interesting to see how that plays out. Um, the other thing I think potentially that's had an impact lately, well, since yesterday, is that I had some electrolytes again as well. So it had been one, so it had been one, two, three, four, five, six days since I'd had no electrolytes up until yesterday. And then I had some when I went to the gym. And I think I've, I think I've decided myself now I think I've really decided that I need to have electrolytes more often. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up in the morning and I'll have them in the morning. And then that way I will have had them throughout the day. So when I go to the gym, I'll be nice and hydrated and everything else. And I think that might be the best way to do it. But I do, I do want to get in the habit of doing that. So like I slept really well last night and I slept for nearly, well, I slept seven hours but I'd had electrolytes and I'd been to the gym. So that kind of, I, it was a whole, it's too many things changed at one time to know specifically what it was. Um, anyway, bygones. The point is I've ordered a 41 packets of electrolytes so I can now start to have them pretty much every day. And I'm just going to make that part of my morning routine so that I get up in the morning, have my electrolyte, that way it'll also mean I shouldn't be carrying too much water when I weigh in in the morning. I am going to continue to weigh myself every day. I know it doesn't mean anything, but it's just something. It's part of my routine, and I'm just going to keep it for now. So um, maybe at some point in the future I'll I'll stop doing it, but but not yet. Right. I'm just I am feel like I'm waffling on now. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today. So tomorrow I should be pretty normal day. I'm up on my own into the office. Um, I'll, I'll get a workout in. I'll have some electrolytes in the morning and we'll just continue and see how it goes from here. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye.